Today we're learning more about what to expect during what could be the last January 6th hearing before the midterm elections. Committee members investigating the Capitol riot are getting ready for Wednesday's hearing and it comes amid new revelations about a phone call that took place between someone at the White House and a rioter on that day, January 6th. NBC's Alice Barr reports from Washington. Carolyn, the January 6th committee is trying to bring attention back to what happened that day as committee members seek to paint a picture of efforts by former President Trump and his allies to keep him in power after the 2020 election. As the January 6th committee prepares for its first hearing in two months, a former committee staffer and ex-Republican congressman lobbing a new allegation. Do you get a real aha moment? when you see that the White House switchboard had connected to a rioter's phone while it's happening. Denver Riggleman revealing someone in the Trump White House called a rioter at the Capitol while it was under siege. It's not clear who placed the call and committee members are downplaying its importance, stressing Riggleman had only limited knowledge of the investigation. I can't say anything specific about that particular call, but we are aware of it. Uh, and we're aware of lots of contacts between uh, people in the White House and different people that were involved. Wednesday's investigative hearing could be the committee's last, members promising it will be sweeping. It will tell a story about a key element of Donald Trump's uh, plot to overturn the election. Pressing questions remain, including whether the committee will speak to former Vice President Mike Pence and whether they'll make criminal referrals. It's not clear whether they'll finish their work before the fast approaching midterm elections. Committee Vice Chair Liz Cheney, a Republican and fierce Trump critic who lost her primary, vowing she'll fight to keep former President Trump from a second term. I'm going to make sure Donald Trump, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he's not the nominee. And if he is the nominee, I won't be a Republican. Cheney saying she would campaign for Democrats to stop GOP candidates who promote election lies. The public hearing is set for this Wednesday afternoon. It will be the committee's ninth as they move toward writing up a final report on their findings. In Washington, Alice Barr, WCNC, Charlotte.